Hello everybody, this is Rich Espedes, and I'm here to further discuss the mystery of the gut microbes. Now as you already know from my previous post, the gut microbes and the brain are connected by the enteric nervous system. As you can see in this picture, the intestines are basically the brain. The brain and intestines are basically one thing. But what you might not know is that the microbes are directly involved in the construct and development of the brain while a child infant is in the womb developing. It has been seen by scientists that the microbes are directly involved in the development of the frontal lobe and the hippocampus and other regions of the brain as you can see in this picture right here. So the microbes are directly deeply involved in the body and the construct of the human being from the very start. This just further pushes the meaning of the microbes as they were always there from the very beginning of our lives. Basically the architects and the con contractors of who we are today. This also pushes the very importance of the gut microbes and how they interact with the brain and our emotions and how they affect our ability to connect with objects with psychonesis. The microbes are often thought about as uh, one-dimensional and narrow in their existence, but in actuality the microbes are very, very powerful. They exist within space and time itself, within the quantum foam of our reality. They're able to tap into frequencies and understand the universe better than we could ever know. Which leads me to another point that I want to get across in the enteric nervous system. I spoke about the enteric nervous system gets itself into a preparation anticipation mode. Well, this occurs when you're involved in sports. Before you get up for a big game in a football game when you're in high school, you're thinking about the sports and you're thinking about the, the activity, your enteric nervous system gets involved in it. It gets prepared, it gets emotionally involved in the images and the thoughts. It doesn't matter what sport it is, whether it's golf or whatever, your enteric nervous system pays attention to your imagination and to your training and what you were doing the previous day. And the microbes memorize this also. They, they push. They push into the nerves and to the fiber and to the bone of the body, giving it more bioelectricity, allowing you to be able to execute what you need to do in order to accomplish a win in the game. They help you not only in physical activities, but like I said, in psychonetic activities. Gut microbes are so important that they even assist mediums in being able to receive information from the other side. Like I said, the microbes exist within the quantum foam of space and time, which allows them to receive information and wisdom and other frequencies that we cannot easily receive. Because like I said, the gut microbes are involved in the development of the brain since we're in the womb, developing in our mother's stomach. So what that means is that when we have intuition or psychic abilities or uh, clairvoyance, what that is is that the microbes are connecting and sending information to certain parts of the brain. When you astral project, the microbes are opening up the pineal gland, they're communicating. Like I said, the microbes are involved from the very beginning of development, the frontal lobe and the occipital lobe and the, the, the hippocampus. So the microbes, when we are adults, are still connected. Now here's a good example with the dogs and cats. If dogs and cats are able to see spirits and entities from other dimensions once in a while, then the microbes must live in the spiritual world 24-7. They're in the thick of it. In the thick of it. This is Richard Cespedes. Mad Cat Sphere. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.